Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I am Jules Juliet. Thank you so much for watching. Today, we're just gonna get glammed up for no flippant reason because we don't go out. We're quarantined. LA, y'all need to stay in because this needs to hurry up because, um, <sighs> anyways, we're so close to 1,000 subscribers, you guys. We're rocking it on. So today, we're going to go ahead and just prep my skin, um, try new products. I have a lot of unopened products that I haven't really used. So we're going to go ahead and just try them on to see what's up. I actually already filmed with this one right over here. And um, I don't know. Do you, guys are, do you guys like this product? Oh, that looks better. Do you guys like this product? Honestly, when I sprayed it on, it kind of like... I don't know, like, it kind of, like, messed around with my foundation. So then I was like, uh, yeah, no. But I don't know, do you guys like that product or not? Oh, so last night I actually exfoliated my face. And then I put this one that's the Derma E Vitamin C Intense Night Cream. You guys, this thing was, like, tingling and burning. It's just, like, a weird sensation. It sometimes does it to me and it sometimes doesn't. So it's kind of, like... I don't really use it because of that reason, but let me know if I'm the only person that happens. We're going to go ahead and just prep our skin. I'm going to go in with Blist. What a watermelon. The jelly one. Comment down below, you guys. How many of you guys got laid off? Trust me, I'm one of them. And what are you guys doing? Like, how is it... How are you guys currently feeling about the situation? I'm like, honestly, like with me, it's just like, eh. But most of you guys are probably in school. Or actually, no, most of you guys are not even in school. You guys are doing online classes, which sucks for everyone who's going to graduate. That's not really going to graduate, but that was going to graduate this year. That has no idea when they're going to graduate. Sucks for them. But I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with CoverGirl. And this one is their True Blend Base. It's a skin primer. Oh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and add some powder first. It's this one from Makeup Revolution. It's a peachy one. I kind of want to try this one. So let's go ahead and open. This is actually one of the new products. So we're going to go ahead and test out to see what's up with this one. It is peach scented baking powder. Now, does it really smell like peaches? smells like peaches it does have a subtle nice sweet scent to it so hmm, not bad actually yeah but it's not that strong okay I'm gonna go ahead and just pat this so I'm gonna go ahead and use a Jeffree Star one and just let this settle into our skin it's gonna help the makeup one use less product two, stay longer and three be more matte um, I'm a person who is oily, so this helps me out a lot. I'm going to go ahead and use Milk Makeups. Now, with Milk Makeup, this is actually not the right match for me. So, I might be a little bit too dark for this one. I mean, too light for this one. I'm going to go ahead and with my Tarte Shape Concealer. And we're going to go ahead and just brighten up these areas. So, first thing I like to do is I want to make sure that I am creaseless down here. So I go ahead and look up, and then I apply the powder on my eye. I like to set this area first because... Oh, I see. No, this peachy was a no-no. It's actually... This peachy is actually very peachy. It's not translucent. I'm going to go ahead and use Derma Blend for my eyes on this side and then use a peachy one for the rest all right i'm gonna go ahead and grab my bronzer which is gonna be from Too faced the only downside of this one is that i hate that i can't always open it i'm like struggling half the times so other than that we're gonna go ahead and grab it tap out the excess because this is actually kind of pigmented smells so good though okay 
And I'm going to go ahead and grab my favorite, favorite, favorite out of all so far is the Artist Couture one, Illuminate. Bam. I absolutely love this one. Honestly, you guys, you need this in your macchiage. You need it. Like, there's nothing else to say. Like, you need this one. We're going to go ahead and just apply this on our cheekbones, on our brow bone, and on our forehead. There's no bone there. Well, there's a bone, but there, I can't say bone. When this is setting, usually what I like to do is I like to clean up my mess because then I forget to clean it up. And then it becomes just messier and messier and messier every time. All right now. Wow, my eyebrows look so freaking dark. Can you pick up these Thank you. Alright, so now that I have this going on, I'm going to go ahead and just do a light eyeshadow because... Why not? When I meant light, I didn't really mean light. I'm grabbing that Marisi palette from Anastasia Beverly Hill with the color Wasted and just putting it on my inner lid. Just patting it with my finger. Kind of got tired of brushes. I'm going to go ahead and put OG on the outer of my eyelid. Just blending that in. Next, I will be getting, I believe it's called Yugo. And 1988. And just trying to smoke it out. Because I kind of wanted to do something light, neutral, but smoky at the same time. It was kind of a mistake adding such a dark color, but it's okay. We're going to blend it out. I'm going to go ahead and hide my imperfections with Liddy and then add Barb in the inner corner of my eye because you could always, always cover everything up with glitter. Glitter is like your best friend when it comes with eyeshadow, covering it up, or just blending it out. And voila, we have a beautiful, stunning eye. You want to add eyeliner, you can. It's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and finish this eye, put on some eyelashes, and I'll be right back. And we are back. So I went ahead and just put on some eyelashes and I did my lips. Oh, uh, okay. It still looks really weird. Sorry about that. Anyways, this is how my makeup ended up being. I'm going to go ahead and just most likely change shirts to be a little bit more pretty in my post. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Keep on rocking on on this quarantine and stay mother flipping safe because we just got to. We just got to. You guys, make sure you do go out. Sanitize. Sanitize what you bought. Clean what you bought. And then, not only that, if you guys are starting to feel like mucus in your nose, go ahead and grab a pot of hot water. Put some citrus oil. Put some eucalyptus oil. Put, um, like, menthol, like mint in there. Mix it. A garlic, ginger, honey. And just breathe it in like breathe it in for a cool five minutes it's gonna not only open up your nostril but if you do get you know any virus it will most likely kill it because of the heat that you're enduring i don't want you to burn your face don't burn your face just, just just steam it up steam it inhale it and inhale it best thing to do and it's also good for your skin all right i'll see you guys in my next one